All right, guys, I'm back at this one. It's the Mitsubishi Electric that I diagnosed with a faulty fan motor um, a few videos back. So I've ordered a new fan motor and I'm back here today to replace it. So we'll see if my diagnosis was right or wrong. Um, if it's right, then I'll, at the end of the video, I'll make a few comments on my thoughts about this because this board I tested and it's pumping out the right voltage the fan motor is not seized and I did a resistance check on the motor and it checks out fine so you know I've done all the checks that you can do and it's it, it all checks out fine so why isn't it spinning it's a bit of a weird one so let's just see if my diagnosis is even correct and then um yeah, I'll give you my thoughts. So, let's get it done.
All right, so I've just turned that on, and lo and behold, the fan is now running. So I just obviously leave it to make sure everything is tearing away, but um, the bottom fan was the one that wasn't running and it was just going straight into a fault. So I quoted this customer um, to replace both the fan motors because it wouldn't surprise me if the top one goes soon, but these things aren't cheap and she um, just wanted to do the bottom one now. And when the top one goes, then we'll do that, which I totally understand because they're not cheap. So totally get it, all good. I understand, it's the world we live in. Mitsubishi, that's a recommendation from them to also change the outdoor PC board, which is super expensive. I didn't do that and the thing's running fine. Like, you just, I'm, I'm not the perfect tech, I'm absolutely not, but um, these are just some things that I've observed over the years. All right, so my thoughts are just, and this is purely based on, uh, sorry, this is purely directed at, you know, apprentices or people that are trying to learn. Um, but before I start, I just wanna say, I'm not an expert and I am absolutely learning each and every day for sure. But yeah, like I said, this, if you do a resistance check, works totally fine, um, you know? Spin that, spins freely, and the bearings aren't making any noise. Um, basically, the, uh, what I did was, you know, do the checks that Mitsubishi recommend, and then I checked the, the board, and the board checked out fine as well. So everything checked out fine, so you're probably wondering, well, why, um, what made you just go and get the fan motor? Um, Mitsubishi Electric, recommended doing the fan motor and the board anyway as you know it was just a fan motor and to answer that question it's genuinely just based on my experience i know that like on um these like dc fan motors that have like what five pins i just know that these things can just stop working um, you should look into the Hall effect, um, look that up, Google will be able to give you a better explanation on that than I can, but these things, after a certain amount of time, just stop working, and they can still have the, the right resistance on the windings, and you know, the bearings and stuff can be fine, which is all you used to check back in the day, but now there's um, Hall IC sensors and stuff in here so yeah it's to be different but that's all I was going to say just if you're trying to learn and you're wondering why I died like how did I come to the conclusion of this fan I honestly just guessed basically because it's just based on what I've experienced over the years so that's all look up all I see sensors in DC fans and yeah just have a read about that anyway guys thanks for um, watching and see you on the next one Thank you.